Hello, how are you going? Welcome back to Cruiseway, the only show on TV that lets you look and book fabulous holiday getaways from the comfort of your own home. Now, in this show, we're exploring the best of spectacular Africa with three amazing cruise and stay packages that we reckon will tick a huge box on your bucket list. Wacka wacka. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, bless you. Uh, you'll need a pen at the ready as well if a safari is on your bucket list because we've got the ultimate cruise and tour package coming your way in a couple of minutes time. Then later, we've got your chance to voyage with Cunard from Cape Town to Sydney over the course of nearly a month away. Plus, towards the end of the show, a brilliant opportunity to cruise all inclusive from Cape Town to Europe. But before all of that, if you're new to us here at Cruise Away, let us first introduce you to one of the biggest names in travel here in Australia. Here at Cruise Away, we've been sending Australian travellers on amazing cruise holidays for over 25 years. Our award-winning team specialise in bringing you the best deals from all major cruise lines sailing right across the globe. Whether you're looking to cruise locally or afar, with thousands of unmissable deals available right now, you can be sure we'll find you your perfect cruise holiday. So, if you're ready, let's go cruising. Wow, uh, yeah, absolutely. So, have you got your bucket list? Because this, I, I always, always, always think, Joe, that this bucket list is mythical, that no one <laughs> really has one. But actually, the more I do these shows, the more I talk to people who have crews, they're like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they will name, I will say to them, okay, what's on your bucket list? And they will tell me a list of places straight away. Oh, so. travel has to be the top of bucket list, right? Okay, places you want to go in your lifetime, things you want to see. And cruising brings the world close, closer to Australia than ever before. Well, and you get more you get more places ticked off in one holiday oh, than you do of just going, okay, let's have two weeks there. Yes, it's brilliant. And I think kind of you are venturing further afield when you're heading over to Africa, of course, so it just makes sense that you're gonna see a lot of places in one go, in one fell swoop. So let's head off on our first adventure, shall we? Does a safari sound good to you? Yeah. <laughs> Is that top of your bucket list? Well, we're gonna head off on MSC Cruises and we're also gonna do a safari to the famed Kruger National Park. This is called Africa and Egypt to Rome. Amazing. Wow. 35 nights leaving on the 28th of March next year. We're going to fly you from Sydney to Johannesburg where you'll be met at the airport and transferred to your hotel for the night. And the next morning, that's when the adventure begins as we depart for Hazy View for an open vehicle game drive safari in Kruger Park. Oh my word. Can you imagine? And here's the thing. I mean, you might have the opportunity to see the famed African Big Five, which are the lion, the leopard, the rhino, the elephant, and the African buffalo. These are just literally dream adventures, and the photo opportunities that will be on offer are just going to be once in an entire lifetime. Well, and you're so close as well, aren't you, to the action? I mean, listen, if you only see one of the Big Five, how spectacular if you saw a wonderful herd of those elephants, for instance, to be there up close and personal, what a magical memory. Emory. Yeah, you're going to be on the safari for three fabulous days and of course staying in the Kruger Park. So you're actually just, uh, you know, a stone's throw away from all the action and waking up in the morning, you'll have an ample opportunity having your coffee to see wildlife in its natural habitat. How mm. cool is that? Amazing. Now, after the safari, we're going to fly you to Cape Town and you're going to have two nights in the Cosmo capital of South Africa. Now, it's such a beautiful and um, diverse city, Cape Town. It's a real melting pot with influences from all over the globe. You must, if you can, climb Table Mountain or if that doesn't suit, at least take the cable car up there for sure. Um, you've got cage diving with great white sharks. That's on a lot of people's bucket list for this destination, if you're brave enough. <laughs> Lovely bike rides, beautiful sandy beaches and absolutely phenomenal food. Then it's time to cruise and you're going to be on board for 26 fabulous nights on the gorgeous MSC Splendida. Now, the lovely thing about MSC is it, it offers you that true international flair. So even though we're cruising in Africa, we've, we're on an Italian vessel. So you've got the best of Italian cuisine with top chefs. You also have lots of international options when it comes to dining. Uh, they're known for their uh, lovely decadent art installations and glass all over the ship. You've got the Shrosky staircase, which is kind of a firm feature of MSC cruises for amazing selfies. Um, and everywhere you go, each individual part of the ship has its own 
character and its own identity. Um, this particular ship as well uh, takes influences from beautiful Italian piazzas, so you've got that decadence right there as well. I mean, just look at that. Look at the staircase leading up to the restaurant. You'll feel like an absolute million bucks every single time you step out of your stateroom in the evening and head to dinner. Yeah, they really are. They're so stylish and there's so much to do. You'll be so surprised if you've not been on board with MSC yet so far. Honestly, there is so much on board and we just saw some of the shopping there as well. You can actually take home a little MSC Splendida back home as a little souvenir of your holiday, which is quite a nice thing to do. There is honestly so much going on all day and all night. And of course, it's your lovely haven when you come back every it night. It is, and there's a disco, there's amazing fountains in the atrium. Okay, we're cruising out of Cape Town. Our first port we're heading to is Durban, uh, which is again, a wonderful city to visit, including safaris and beautiful beaches and water parks are there for you if you want to relax as well on the beach, you can do that. Uh, La Possessions, our next port, which is a lovely French um, influenced island off the coast of Africa with natural beauty and lush tropical forest awaiting you. Uh, then we're on to Port Louis Mauritius and we've actually got two nights and a day here, which is brilliant. Uh, now, one thing you must visit in the, is the Pamplemousse's Botanical Garden. I've heard amazing things. Uh, the Lover Nil Nature Park as well. And at night, of course, this port comes to life along the Cordon waterfront. Take a stroll. We're into Safanja, Egypt, and this is your gateway to visit the Valley of the Kings. Of course, that ancient burial ground for kings for thousands of years. Amazing. Um, Aqaba, Jordan awaits, Jordan awaits us next. Uh, one of the modern wonders of the world there in the lost city of Petra. It's a must see in my opinion um, or you can head to the Wadi Rum Desert for a bit of a safari take your pick here really we're transiting through the Suez Canal south and north and then we're into Naples Italy again more ancient treasures here await in the lost city of Pompeii uh, which was buried under ash and rock 2000 years ago then we disembark in the amazing eternal city of rome you've got two nights here to explore everything that rome has to offer um, and the lovely thing about this time of year is also visiting rome it's a little bit more off season so you'll find that it's a kind of yeah, there's always going to be tourists all year round in rome but not as hectic of course you'll want to head to the iconic Colosseum, there's nothing quite like it on earth. Vatican City, the Sistine oh. Chapel, Spanish Steps. Yeah. Then, after your two nights in Rome, we're going to fly you, fly you back to Australia. Of course, it's all included end to end. This is a once in a lifetime epic holiday extraordinaire. Looks more like a honeymoon territory to me, doesn't oh, it? And listen. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't need to make it an official honeymoon. It could be uh, the unofficial 17th honeymoon. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's an amazing holiday, isn't it? If you think about it, all the safari experience, then that wonderful exploration of a cruise, uh, which takes you all the way through to Rome, and you've got some time there as well. Um, the great thing about us here at Cruise Away is that we are so well connected in travel around the world. Obviously, cruise is our main focus, but uh, we have an amazing relationship with the airlines, with the hotel brands, with tour operators, and we are a global business as well. And it means that we can put all of these things together, protect the whole thing, of course. Remember, of course, we're members of AFTA and ATAS as well. Because we're looking forward into next year, we can also say to you, OK, lower deposit right now to lock in the great price tag because we know the price of everything is on the rise including travel as well so we're doing advanced planning now so a thousand dollars each today will get the price tag that we've got for this trip which is unforgettable it feels like just the price of the safari escorted experience going to and from there that's it no cruise no stay in rome no nothing else this price tag feels like it should just be the bespoke tailored safari experience, don't you think? $7,299 per person. This is for next March, remember. So $1,000 each right now. We'll get that secured as a deposit for you. You are not only doing a fabulous cruise, but you are doing that escorted safari experience, a wonderful lodge accommodation while you're there as well, which you are going to absolutely love. And lots of different safari experiences as well. Some full day, some first thing in the morning, because of course you have to, you have to step in time 
with the animals in the safari and, and they get up early. As soon as that sun's up, they're up. So you want to be there uh, to see them at their very best as well. This is such a lovely holiday. And of course, that lovely romantic finish in Rome as well for a couple of nights, amazing. Flights included as well. And remember, $1,000 today each and a deposit, and it's all sorted for you. Here's the upgrade prices, by the way, on the cruise itself. Now, bear in mind that the cruise is the lion's share of this holiday. It is 26 of the 35 nights there. So when you look at the upgrade prices there to Ocean View, uh, Balcony, oh my word, the suites on MSC. Mm. Oh my word, if you want your own, you know, your own butler, your own restaurant, your own resort deck, you know, your own private lounges and your own menus are incredible. Think about a sweet opportunity. Talk to our team as well if you want to know more. Any questions you've got, call us toll free. 1300 306 134 is the telephone number to call. Remember, we are, are here to talk to you seven days a week. And of course, if you're thinking, right, okay, well, you know, next March, that's a long way away. Have you got any cruises like right now in the next few weeks? Just go straight to the website. Now, lots of lovely late deals, cruiseaway.com. Dot .au. Right, let's go from cruising to voyaging now, Joe. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> On the original voyaging vessel, she's an ocean liner in fact, and it's such a rarity to have um, an opportunity to cruise on Queen Mary. She she generally tends to do the transatlantic from Southampton to New York, so seeing her further afield is really special, and this time we are going Cape Town to Sydney for 29 fabulous nights. Nice. So, I mean, cruising you right back home. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a trip to me. Brilliant. So you fly out, of course, from Sydney to Cape Town. It's on the 29th of January for a two-night hotel stay to kick off your adventure. Um, you know, Cape Town's a really exciting and vibrant city, full of colour, energy, lots of different cultural influences. You have phenomenal food from all around the globe. Of course, they are famous in South Africa for the braai, which is their barbecue. Um, and you, I think it's actually impossible to have a bad meal in South Africa, in my experience. I mean, everything I ever ate when I visited tasted spectacular um, now you are definitely going to want to head up to table mountain take the cable car take some lovely uh, pictures of the beach those colorful houses of course the african influence instilled in the culture here and then we're heading on to the elegant queen mary too for 26 nights oh my yes word. please you know you wouldn't normally do an adventure that long on queen mary too because she usually goes back and forth seven nights on transatlantic, right? Um, so I just think this is really, really special. Like afternoon it's once in a tea. year. You've got to do the afternoon tea in the winter garden. The afternoon tea, the white gloved afternoon tea is a firm feature of Cunard. <laughs> it's all included in your cruise it fare, is, by the way. You can do it every single night. You could be dining, you could be eating in the afternoon your scones, cream and jam. Um, you can oh, upgrade to a champagne one as well. You if can you absolutely fancy. with Verve Clico, absolutely. A extra. Yes, why nice. not? They're known for their dancing on uh, Cunard as well. They actually hire professional dancers to come on board and teach classes. Um, you can watch people spinning around the ballroom if it's not your thing to get involved um, they also do fencing they have a live company of actors on board and loads of wonderful shows to enjoy as well and then I tell you what formal nights are when Cunard really comes to life everybody gets dressed up to the nines in their dazzling ball gowns and their fabulous tuxedos and strolls down the stairs arm in arm just like you'd imagine the traditional way of cruising always was because this was the very very first brand in cruising White Star Line um, Ooh, by the way, you can get married on a ship. The captain marries you. Maybe that's a little food for thought. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do vow renewals. Uh, this would be a good trip for that. Now, we are nice. cruising out of Cape Town, and we'll have a couple of days at sea before we head into Durban. A fabulously cosmopolitan city. Um, there's some lovely botanical bo uh, gardens to visit there and the Valley of 1000 Hills is also a must. A few days at sea sees it into um, Reunion, uh, Le Port, and this is a, a really lovely volcanic lush landscape where you can go and see the Pitongs. Then we're into Port Louis Mauritius, which is a real lovely uh, multicultural island. It's French and they have a huge central market there in the center and great museums as well. We're on into Fremantle, 
then back in, in our territory of the world in Perth, known for its maritime history, of course, and Victorian architecture. Um, and you can go and visit the prison. Uh, then we're into Adelaide, known as the 20-minute city. Maybe we're even cruising in your home city now, which is very cool. Uh, grab yourself a pie floater and do a spot of shopping. Uh, then we have an overnight in Melbourne, which is where I grew up. Um, you can head to the Great Ocean Road. You've got enough time to do that. Maybe up to Hillsville Sanctuary for some nature. Um, go to Flinders Street Station, take some pictures of this iconic site. And South Bank and Federation Square, of course. South Bank, great for dining in the evening. Uh, then we are into Sydney. And you'll have an overnight on board before you disembark. Do you know what? I love this. Because even though, of course, we have these amazing places at our doorstep, we might not have ventured over. Listen, if you're in Sydney or Melbourne, you might not have been to Perth before. So it's a great little trip, you know, aside from the fact we're in Africa, to actually visit different parts of Australia too. And all of this in your itinerary is such diverse and interesting itinerary. But of course, the big feature of this adventure is being on board the Queen Mary too and experiencing that, I think, once in a lifetime experience of her going farther afield. Um, yeah. So special. Do you know what? I think actually you'll, you'll become you'll become uh, an, an extra part of our um, of our team when you get back from an adventure like this because I think you'll be recruiting other people into Cruise Away to get an experience like this booked up because I think it is one of those very, very special experiences. It's so true what Joe said as well. Um, sometimes we forget what's on our doorstep. You know, sometimes we always think holidays and travel, they're always about going far flung places to discover. And sometimes we've got the most beautiful gems that are just sitting just over there. It's amazing. So this brings the best of all of those together. Um, for the end of January, so we can put a lower deposit down on this right now, two and a half thousand dollars each today to prepare and to lock in the price tag that I've got for you. Now consider that Cunard is, it's not regular cruising, this is voyaging, this is a real luxury experience. I mean, afternoon tea every day of your cruise, ballroom dancing, Royal Court Theatre, um, it all conjures up huge price tags, isn't it? Maybe tens of thousands of dollars. But no, look, look at the price that we have managed to lock in, including the two nights in Ooh. Cape Town as well. I know, right? What? Look at that, that's really good. And you can give us a, around about a third of that right now as a deposit, two and a half thousand dollars each right now to get that secured at that price tag. And you will come back from that thinking, you know what, I've, you may have cruised many times with many, many different cruise lines. You may have been to many different places in the world but you ain't cruised until you voyage with Cunard, let me tell you, because it is absolutely the creme de la creme. It's, you know now why they have 180 years of heritage behind them when you take an offer and an experience like this. Let's look at the upgrades as well, because uh, you've got, you don't need an upgrade in any way, shape or form when you're on Queen Mary 2. Let me tell you, everyone is, you know, everyone is royalty on the Queen Mary 2. But if you do want to treat yourself to an ocean view, to a balcony, or, or indeed a suite with your very own more intimate dining area and so many more, obviously your suite is attended beautifully, your level of service is you know, massively enhanced. Plus, there is a little bit of, I don't know, how do we say it? There is that, not bragging rights, Joe, yeah. but there's that, there's that real, yes, we are, we are taking a suite on the Queen Mary yes. too. Yeah, you know, obviously it is yes. a further stretch yeah. um, in terms of um, the finances, but you know, maybe this isn't the kind of holiday that you will do every year, every five years. Maybe this is a once in 30 years kind of event holiday. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's amazing. But listen, you really should, if you could. Um, call us now, 1300 306 134. I mean, listen, don't let me spend all of your money, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's nice to have dream holidays at affordable price tags, right? Yeah. Um, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's switch cruise lines again for our final offer. This time we are all inclusive cruising with Norwegian and we are going on a West African dawn. Now, this is one of the most phenomenally interesting itineraries that you ever would have seen. Even if you're a really experienced cruisers and you've, you, you've done hundreds of cruises over the years, I don't think you would have seen much of an itinerary like this pop up 
at all. 17th of March next year, we'll start the adventure flying you from Sydney again to Cape Town in South Africa. That's yes. where we're going to start. And we've got two nights in a hotel there. Um, I wonder with Table Mountain, you were mentioning the cable car. Yes. I wonder, can you cable car up and then walk down? You I can, that, or can you can you? walk up. It's not too bad a hike, apparently. I'd rather walk down than up, yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you bring those walking shoes. Uh, but yeah, you ha it has to be seen. The views from Table Mountain are absolutely jaw-dropping. Um, and the ocean in Cape Town as well, the beaches are absolutely sublime. I mean, you just have a beautiful experience, whatever you choose to do in this really exciting cultural hub of South Africa. Uh, the food, of course, the entertainment, the galleries right there, the museums also. Do you know You've what, got the nature reserves. Do you know what, for me, in South Africa would be the most appealing thing? Um, first of all, the accent. I love listening oh, yeah. to the South African accent. And also just how gentle just how gentle South African people are, how friendly, how knowledgeable, how warm they are as well. Yes, So two absolutely. nights in Cape Town and then it's time for cruising. And we're cruising for three weeks. Three weeks, Derek, on yeah. the Norwegian Dawn. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, now, it's all-inclusive cruising. So that means you have got in your package, all encompassed into the cruise price. Premium drinks. Premium drinks. Which is wonderful. You Specialty dining, so yep. you actually have, um, you two have nights. several nights, yes, two exactly, nights, yeah. two nights, internet package as well, and you have your $50 per cabin shore excursion credit, so that's fantastic, so all of this is included in your cruise fare, so premium drinks, your coffee, your blended drinks, your spirits, good quality, again, brand names as well, uh, your wines, all of these things you don't even have to think about, so you're saving yourself an absolute fortune. Can I just tell you that all of this work that you're seeing right now, it's all finished? All uh, finished. It was just a, that was just a little like a before and after yeah. of uh, the, the most recent refit uh, that she's had. But she's had massive, massive upgrades. Um, you'll know Norwegian as well. You probably would have heard of Norwegian Cruise Lines before. Uh, they are absolutely famed for their speciality dining, for their variety, for the whole family as well. This is a cruise for the whole family. Yeah. I think you are going to truly, truly love it. Being all-inclusive really does help as well. Oh, it really does, doesn't it? Should we see where we're off to? Yeah. So we are heading out of, of course, uh, Cape Town through to Warvis Bay, Namibia, uh, where you can scale the 1,250-foot dunes on a safari or head to the Flamingo Lagoon, which is cool. Uh, then we're on into Luanda, and you can visit the Fortaleza de San Miguel here or the Portuguese island of um just off the coast is lovely too. Sao Tome is our next port. Um, and this is a little island on the equator in the Gulf of Guinea. And you've got lots of natural beauty there. Um, the blowhole also is worth visiting. Um, next up, we're into Adivijan, the Ivory Coast here. And this is where you can visit the uh, Yamasukoro, the largest cathedral in the world. Uh, Cocoa Plantation too. Banjul's up next. The Gambia um, for its natural beauty. Nature Reserve, I think, visit here would be an absolute must to see those um, um, lovely animals in their natural habitat. Dakar beckons us next in Senegal and it's known for its thriving African art. You've also got stone circles there, the world's largest group of megalithic complexes. Santa Maria next in Cape Verde uh, for its amazing wineries and beautiful paradisical beaches. Uh, next up, we are into Tenerife. We're over into Europe here in the incredible Canary Islands and you have got Mount Tide National Park to visit there and play at Las Americas. Volcanic landscape um, in these islands as in Lanzarote too, um, with the geysers and that the thermal springs all worth visiting and lovely year-round sunshine in these ports of call. Cool. Uh, then we're on to Agadir in Morocco. Make sure you head to a little bit of a souk there. Go and do, do a spot of shopping and negotiating. It's a fun thing to do in Morocco uh, for sure. Casablanca, the capital in Morocco for the famed Hassam Il Mosque and the Casbah. Again, they've written songs about this part of the world. <laughs> Rocket. Uh, Rocket, absolutely. <laughs> um, if you really want to, something like that. Can't remember that. Anyway, we're coming off the ship in Barcelona and you'll have a two-night stay in the Catalonian <laughs> capital, um, which is, well, two nights. Oh, yeah, you could squeeze a lot in, but you might want to do an extension here because it's absolutely unforgettable, this There's city. There's a song about that as well. Is it an extension of Barcelona? Barcelona. Bar 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 oh, there is a song, Just absolutely. Barcelona. Da, 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 da. So yeah, you can exactly. Rock the Casbah. Uh, Arc de Triomphe right there. You've got the beautiful um, Barcelona, Barcelona to Beach. You've got the um, Sagrada Familia, which is Gaudi's masterpiece, and Parque Guell also 
also is just an unforgettable experience. It's just the mosaics at every turn. Um, you, it's a fascinating it's a place. It's a fascinating yeah. city. Um, you've also got up in the mountains there, Monjuic, which is a theme park at the top of a mountain. You ride the funicular up from a place called Grazia. It's so cool to visit. I love Barcelona. Oh, and actually, if you do like the theme parks, you can get a train out of Barcelona to Porta Ventura, which oh, is one yes. of the uh, big theme parks in Spain as well. So here is your overview. It's on two pages because it's such a big one, this one. You'll stay in Cape Town and then you're starting that three weeks of cruising there through Namibia, Angola, Sao Tome, through to the Gambia, Senegal, Cape Verde. Then you're across to the Canary Islands for Tenerife and Lanzarote, rocking the Casbah in Agadir <laughs> in Morocco uh, and uh, Casablanca and then into Barcelona. That's where we leave the cruise and we have a couple of nights in a hotel there. So it's a really nice sort of bookend kind of stay here. Now, again, this is for next year. So we can be put, putting a lower deposit down on this one for the price that we've got. $2,600 each today as a deposit. We'll get the price we, we've got secured with an all-inclusive cruise as well, remember, which is 21 nights. Now, look at this. If this were just the cruise, this would be amazing as a price tag because I'm telling you right now, when you have a drinks package uh, with Norwegian that is premium, it is all of the drinks that you know, all of the brands that you recognize behind the bar. It's not sort of generic gin, vodka. <laughs> you know, it's not that kind of, it's, it's the brands that you know and you love. And there's so much more than just drinks included in this offer as well. Let's have a look at your upgrades as well. If you want to upgrade on the cruise to Ocean View, to Balcony, or indeed to sweet here. So you've got your drinks included, as we mentioned. We've also got your Wi-Fi package included. There's Shore Excursion credit. So there's $50 of Shore Excursion credit for each port that you're visiting. And there's two nights of specialty dining on board as well. And that could be the um, sushi, Cagney Steakhouse, La Cucina, La Bistro French, Teppanyaki. Oh, my word, the choice has come out you left, right and centre. Uh, what an amazing adventure as well. I, I don't think many people will have taken an itinerary anything like this. If you want to actually track it on a map, you think, actually, I need to see on a map where, that, where they all are. Just go to our website, cruiseaway.com.au, put in that cruise ID there, the 1676772, and then all the details and a map will come up. It's kind of, sometimes it's useful, isn't it? Yeah. To kind of go, oh, that's where we're going. Um, <laughs> because you are literally crossing the globe here, aren't you, oh, pretty much? Oh my gosh, you're Love traversing it. the globe and going <laughs> yeah. to some unforgettable destinations and then just ticking so many things off in one fell swoop, which is brilliant. Of course, Africa, Europe, you've got it all covered. And finishing off in Barcelona, I love that. I think that's oh, a really wonderful place to yes. visit. Yes, and, and just on that, by the way, um, the cruise does end in Barcelona, and at the moment we have two nights as a hotel stay. But if you want to make that more, then again, talk to the team. If you're thinking, okay, well, Barcelona in Europe, actually I've got family in the UK maybe. If you want to fly on from Barcelona, to London or somewhere else in the UK, or, you know, like the world is your oyster and we are a travel agent, so we can kind of tailor for you and make onward plans for you. Maybe you don't want to come straight back to Sydney. Maybe while you're in Europe, you want to do something else. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. When you're in this part of the world and it's springtime, it's gonna be lovely and fresh and vibrant mm. in Europe too. That's true. Heading back into autumn back home, maybe not, you know, take a little bit longer and enjoy Europe and everything it has to offer. That's what I'd be thinking of doing. Yep, definitely. Well, listen, we're out of time. Thank Thank you so much for your company. We are here every day on Gecko with more fabulous cruise shows. So come back soon and see us. Bye bye. Mind how you go.